Love to know what's going through your mind right now. It seems uh, the, the most surefire way to not become speaker is to win the nomination. What are we going to do from here? A Absolutely. You know, the religious belt, the sealess, which as monks used to wear, that was kind of a self-torture advice. I think I have mine strapped on pretty well. Go into the Republican caucus and kind of that's what it's about. You know, sadly enough, we've gone through many, many uh, individuals. I did not personally think uh, McCarthy needed to be taken out. The eight who did that, um, I, I just think they caused a lot of chaos. We've had really good individuals, but some members will get up and have a personal grind to, against them. What we need to do really is come together as a party. We're going to have our differences, but we have to understand that the real differences we have are between Republican, Republican and Democrat, not Republican and Republican. Mike Johnson was the runner-up to Tom Emmer. I think Mike would do a fabulous job. I think he could get the 217. Same with Kevin Hearn. Um, those two individuals, I think, uh, let's just say it's kind, of, it's kind of insane to say, but they wouldn't have as many people against them as what we've had before. We need to be a, a caucus that says we start from yes and perhaps move to no rather than no and move up to uh, move up to yes. You invoked religion. I believe it was former President Trump who said the only individual who can maybe get to 217 is Jesus Christ. If Hearn <laughs> and Johnson didn't get it in the backroom dealings this morning, why would they be able to get the majority tomorrow or the next day? Well, I think they're individuals. A lot, of, a lot of the heretofore individuals have had personal, you know, done things in the past that somebody didn't like or they were too radical in one regard or vice versa, any of those things. And I think Mike Johnson and Kevin Hearn are very well liked across the conference. I don't think any of these individuals have taken votes that some people may have had a, uh, a problem with or a particular stance that somebody had a problem with. I see them as being uh, people who can really come out of this unscathed or actually come into the battle unscathed and perhaps can finally, finally get consensus to, so that we can take it to the floor. I'm looking at your tweet of Sunday, Congressman, when you wrote with sirens on X. We now have almost as many candidates for Speaker of the House as Taylor <laughs> Swift has had boyfriends. Uh, where are we now, uh, Congressman? How many do we have now? And will it take Democrats to close the deal on this? I know this was well, discussed earlier with Tom Emmer. It's still yeah. being discussed with Patrick McHenry. If we start creeping up on a government shutdown, do the two parties yeah. need to work together? Well, I don't think we'll get to that point. And the debate right now, I literally stepped out of conference uh, because of some of the debate was going on, is whether to go back and to restart, have a full forum again, or just to kind of have a mini forum of those individuals who were there today. The other individuals, in my opinion, have come to, come to the... Uh, to the part where they've been nominated, but we're not able to get to the votes. I don't personally think we need to start that monkey all over again. I would put the ones that today were able, we got voted out and see if we can move forward on those individuals. Congressman, at what point do you just give pro tem Patrick McHenry the tools he needs to start legislating again? This is not going down well with no. Americans across the board. 21 days, there's paralysis on the House of Representatives floor. Yeah. Well, part of that time, to be, you know, to be factual, Anne-Marie, is the fact we were in recess. So none of this would be occurring while we'd be in recess. That said, this is absolutely frustrating it to the nth degree. Patrick Henry honestly does not want those powers, but they may be at some point forced upon him. Uh, Patrick has done an excellent job of leading the conference forward during these negotiations, but I don't think we're quite at that point yet. And he really, really does not want this job. Well, that seems to actually be a qualifier in the world that we're in that's here, right. uh, Congressman. Can you give us a sense what's going to happen for the rest of the day? Will there be another Republican conference meeting, and what will be the tenor of that meeting? We're hearing reports of people yelling at each other, using swear words, yelling at Matt Gates to sit down. What's going to happen tonight? Well, I, I, I don't recall that Matt Gates got scolded today, but that may just be a matter of the day. Um, you know, you think about how all this began. It was really with Matt's personal vendetta against uh, against McCarthy. Um, I, you know, this is what we're debating literally at this very moment. Do we go back into another mm -hmm. forum today? You know, I'll stay there. I'm a surgeon. I'll stay up all night. I don't care. I'd rather have the break of dawn that we come out with a consensus candidate that can come to the floor and get 217. We'll have to see what in the next uh, hour or two uh, the process is going to be. And the, what's the possibility of potentially putting someone out there that can get Democratic votes? 
I don't think we're at that point yet. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's hard to sell that to the American public. 21 days, we're not there public. yet? Well, no. There's a, there's a crisis in the Middle East. There's a government shutdown potentially November 17th. I mean, I mean what, sure. what else needs to be done? Well, the crisis in the Middle East is, is being handled at this point by the president and our military. Nothing in the House at this point short of a uh, censure and a, uh, a resolution to support Israel has been vacated. That said, you know, there's an absolute urgency to get this done and actually get back to passing appropriations bills, getting back to appropriating money where it needs to be uh, for the country. But again, you know, we have some folks that are at no, begin at no, and want to move, and, and are tr we're trying to get them to move to yes. But that's a hard hill to climb for some of these individuals.